What's up guys? We're going to be doing Hidden in Plain Sight. Um, this is another easy forensics one from the Pico Mini at, uh, created from the CMU Africa. These are new ones, so I'm pretty excited to do these ones. Uh, I'm always interested in doing these little CTF ones. Um, so we just recently did uh, the logs one, finding the uh, flag using a grep in the logs. This one, we're given a JPEG. Um, let's go ahead and download it. We're going to use the web shell this time. Um, so let's clear it. Let's clear the old one. We're going to do wget, paste our link. Looks like it's installed. We're going to clear it again. And so now we have this image here. Um, let's go ahead. First thing we can do is strings, right? love this tool. This should be always like the first thing that you do. Um, just to like look at it, see if it's hidden in plain text or anything. Um, nothing I'm really seeing like off the bat. So I mean we can go even simpler. So we can like clear this. We can just go exif tool and then the image. Um, here we're given pretty much the same thing that like we we were given with the uh, PDF, but we're given like more specifications like image height and width. Um, what really stood out to me was the comment here. Um, usually, photos don't have comments like that are just random numbers and letters and stuff. So that's pretty interesting to keep. Um, let's go to CyberChef. If we go to CyberChef here, um, I'm going to be honest, I don't know what this is. The CyberChef has a pretty cool tool called Magic. And so you can actually use this to kind of detect what it might be. Um, and it says here that this is Base64. So if we go to, if we click this Base64, it says here, Stegheide, colon, and then we're given more Base64. Um, so if we copy this, um, and Stegheide is a Linux utility tool, uh, it's a stenography tool, um, and that's how you can like hide data inside of other files. For example, someone might have hid something into this, um, into this image. So it says Stegheide colon, and then we're given another string. So we'll keep the fact that it's Stegheide. We'll keep that in mind. And if we paste that other base64 password in there, we'll get a PAS word. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty pretty cool. We'll keep that here. Let's go here. Um, I do think that Stegheide is installed on this. Okay, so yeah, Stegheide's installed. Um, if you just type it, it'll give you all the flags. What we're going to do is let's actually bring up those flags. So Stegheide. Um, you can embed data and extract data. What we want to do is extract data. So we'll do Stegheide dash dash extract and then we'll do passphrase. Um, that looks like a password. Um, usually, you when you encrypt data, I'm sorry, when you embed data into a file, you, you can give it a password. Um, this looks like a password, so let's try it. Um, I think that's what it was, password, yep. And then um, we'll give it the file, so sf, um, steg file, yep, so we'll just give it the image. And so if we hit enter here, says wrote extracted data to the flag.txt. So if we clear this, ls, and then we do a cat on the flag, this is our flag. So if we copy this and we go to here and we paste it, this should be challenge solved. Perfect.